Now, if y is much less than l, then our equation, now our logistic equation, remember we're trying to relate this form to this equation, and our k is going to take different, have different characteristics for these two functions. But if y is much less than l, then we can write y prime equals ky times l minus y as ky l times 1 minus y over l. Now, this form does not depend on y being much less than l. Uh, this is clearly equivalent to this for any value of l. Um, but we can now say that 1 minus y over l is approximately equal to 1. Again, provided y is much less than l, if y is much less than l, then y over l is a small fraction, and it's close to 1. In this case, we can write y prime equals kl times y. And this being close to 1, we can just leave it off. Again, this only applies if y is much less than l. Well, instead of writing lk, uh, we could just use a single variable like r, and we can say that then this is very much like the equation y prime equals ry, which is not an uncommon form for exponential growth. I've used the form y prime equals ky, but this is y prime equals ry, so that as long as y is much less than l, y prime equals ry, so that we can rewrite the equation in the form y prime equals ry, where r equals kl, y remains much less than l. And this function just has solution, and, and this solution should be very straightforward to you. This should be y equals y naught e to the rt. And that's identical with the solution we found previously. Uh, I'm not sure I have that handy, but I, well, let's just Remember that our solution was y prime was y equals y naught e to the klt. These are identical, except that now we're using r. Well, this motivates us to go back and look at the uh, form that we used for the logistic equation, a very common form of the logistic equation in textbooks and in, 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 in writing uh, would be this, y prime equals ry times 1 minus y over l. Now, this is identical to this equation, okay, with uh, uh, r equal to kl, and this equation did not depend on our assumption that y is much less than l. Everything that follows from this step down does depend on y le much less than l. But this equation holds, and this equation is just a simple rearrangement of this equation, so that the common form, a common form, of the logistic equation is what you see here y prime equals ry times 1 minus y over l. Uh, this does have the advantage that r is your initial growth rate. As long as y remains much less than l, this factor can be ignored, and we have exponential growth uh, with which you're familiar. As y gets closer and closer to l, uh, y over l, what happens to y over l? Uh, well, as As y approaches l, 1 minus y over l approaches 0. Because y approaches l, y over l approaches 1, 1 minus 1 is 0. So that uh, this type of exponential growth uh, that we started with ceases, the growth rate approaches 0, and our function levels off. And if we choose our constants and our integration constants correctly, we're going to get exactly the same results we did. And the steps of solving this problem are exactly identical, uh, exactly parallel to the steps 
that we use in solving the problem with the form uh, y prime equals ky times l minus y. Um, we could even multiply through by l here, by l over l, and, and get this into the form y prime equals ky times l minus y. Uh, we're going to have to deal with uh, y over l term, uh, and the y term is simpler here than it is here, uh, but the trade-offs are uh, pretty even, and uh, this equation can be solved by separating the variables. We're going to get dy over all of this stuff equals dt, and the entire solution is going to follow uh, just by very, very similar steps, just with slightly different notation. 